In this video, we'll see how we can reduce allergies quickly. More and more people suffer from allergic rhinitis or conjunctivitis, and maybe you have because you are watching this video, or you are just watching because you know someone who has and you want some help. So, I made this video just to share with you some food solutions based in science and in naturopathic medicine that can help you or someone else. Watch until the end because I will share at the end of this video also two home tips to quickly reduce the symptoms. Presence of an allergenic substance activates the B cells that transform into plasma cells and begin to produce type E antibodies. These antibodies instigate mast cells to produce histamine. Among other actions, it may get sneeze, having more mucus discharge from the nose or eyes, and increase the need for itching. To better understand the allergic reaction, watch the previous video. Why do we have allergies? We can beat it for good. But for that, we need to rebalance the immune system and probably the nervous system as well. And that takes time time that doesn't exist when we already have the symptoms. So what can we do? We should do two things. One is increase the nutrients that decrease the histamine levels. Vitamin C is also known as ascorbic acid or ascorbate. It's associated with orange but is present in so many fruits and vegetables. This vitamin has antihistamine activity. Its effect, at least in part, is due to the fact that it increased the elimination of histamine, reducing its blood levels, decreasing allergic reactions. That is, vitamin C appeared to have a detoxifying effect on histamine. The amount of vitamin C ingested is important. The current the recommended daily doses are up to date with scientific evidence from the last years, and many myths exist around them, such as vitamin C can cause kidney stones, which is not truth, but that's another story for another video. To decrease the symptoms of allergic rhinitis, allergic conjunctivitis or allergic asthma, you should ingest at least 2 grams per day, in small doses of 250 mg each 3 hours, according to an old study. We should always take antioxidant vitamins along with a diet rich in vegetables, fruits and herbal infusions. Mind this, antioxidants need other antioxidants. Flavonoids are phenolic compounds, substances present in vegetables, fruits and infusions that protect plants from aggression such as bacteria, virus and UV radiation. They have a lot of benefits for our health, like helping to control allergies. Quercetin has an anti-inflammatory effect and reduces the release of histamine by mast cells and basophiles, the cells responsible for allergic disease. Quercetin is found in apples, onions and green tea for example, but for a faster effect in acute situation, it's better to take it in capsules between 1 and 1.5 grams in the first weeks. It's very safe as virtual no side effects. Unfortunately, is difficult or poorly absorbed in the intestine, but we can change that by taking together vitamin C or bromelain, a pineapple enzyme. This is a good quercetin and bromelain supplement that contains also nettle extract, very helpful for rhinitis. Another good flavonoid is epigallocatechin, a potent antioxidant present in the green tea. It also reduces histamine release, decreasing symptoms. As green tea contains a lot of epigallocatechin, you don't need to take it as a supplement. You can drink the tea as long as it doesn't make you more nervous or with sleeping problems, as it contains taines, natural stimulant that is similar to those of coffee but much weaker. In short, orange and kiwis for vitamin C, apple and onions for quercetin and green tea for epigallocatechin can lessen the allergic symptoms. Thought in acute situation, it's better to take it in capsules. But all of this might not help if we don't remove the bodies that can increase the allergic reaction. Sugary food and sugar-sweetened beverages, such as chocolates, candies, cakes, cookies, snacks, soft drinks, commercial fruit trees, 
are not just bad for controlling weight or diabetes. These food products are not real food. They are closer to commercial drugs than to healthy food. If we consume them with moderation, there is no problem. But if we consume them every day, they can increase inflammation and thus accentuate pre-existing allergies. Eat a more natural healthy diet like paleo diet, mediterranean style diet and behave with these food products as you do with alcohol, consuming them in moderation. Cow's milk and cheese can increase allergic reactions in predisposed people. As reactions are delayed in time, many people do not realize. If you consume these products, try to do a wash time of 8 weeks to see if they are implicated in your allergies. That's the best way to know, tests are not always effective. Cow yogurt and goat cheese are usually better tolerated. If you didn't see the video Why do we have allergies? I recommend you to see it after this one. You will understand better why the stress can overwhelm everything and generate allergies. We need to do sports, sleep well, laugh, enjoy mom good moments with the people that we love, travel, anything that makes us feel peaceful and complete. And doing therapy as well. Why not? Therapy is just not for who seek, but also is a preventive medicine. I'm a big fan of microkinesiotherapy and sacrocranial therapy. It helps a lot to uh, rebalance the mind and avoid disease. But if you use another technique and it works, just keep going. Now, as I promised it, two home remedies to quickly relieve the symptoms. Let's start for the first one, allergic conjunctivitis. Prepare a chamomile tea, let it cool, soak a piece of cotton pad and put over your closed eyes for 15 minutes. You can repeat this as often as you want. And for allergic rhinitis, you just uh, put two drops of chamomile essential oil and two drops of helichrysum essential oil in a cotton pad and inhale for 30 seconds by each nostril at each three hours. These and other tips can be found in my book that will be translated to English in the next year. And that's all. I hope you enjoy it. See you in the next video. Until there, be happy.